everyone, welcome or welcome back to Bubblina's Adventures. I hope you all enjoyed all the summer videos like gardening, the obstacle course, and the amazing race. So it's almost time to go back to school and I was planning to do some back to school snack videos and other things about back to school, but then I realized something really important that I forgot to do and I have to do it first. So before we go back to school, we have to prepare ourselves mentally. I said preparing mentally because last week I went back to a daycare kind of camp and my parents put me there because I have been online for 13 to 15 months, which is over a year, making virtual friends, doing virtual school, and basically a lot of stuff I've been doing there is just online. and. They put me to the daycare because it would bring me out of my comfort zone. Our comfort zone is where we feel comfortable in and we feel like it's just where we belong. But when we step out of our comfort zone, it makes us more uncomfortable, but it also gives us so many more possibilities. So when I was around so many people, I felt a little bit uncomfortable, especially when we were eating lunch we were still properly social distanced but I actually never ate lunch around a lot of other people and the second experience is when I am my mind wanders to different things it always wanders to the negative places which really brings down my mood and then it made me feel really sad and there was one time i was at the playground outside all by myself just sitting there so now you're probably wondering why am i sharing so much information and will you feel this way well you might so i hear some suggestions that might help out so in the morning ask yourself what am I looking forward to today? It could be a pizza day, um, if you have a special snack after school, or an act after school activity, seeing a good friend, or even just eating lunch. So the second question you should ask yourself is, if I'm facing challenges or sad moments, what should I do? How do I face it positively? So first you could run away and do something else to try to calm yourself down and go back afterwards to try to do it again. And secondly, if you really have a sad moment, you could just go back to the first question I asked you. What are you looking forward to? Think of something that you're looking forward to to make yourself feel better. And lastly, remember to talk to a trusted adult or someone that you trust. It could be your parents, your grandparents, a teacher, or even your siblings. Maybe they could help you out and help you have a better day the next day. So when you're unhappy or you're feeling these moments, just remember to think of something. Remember that analogy I shared in the Q&A video. The negativity, it's like a tug of war. Sometimes negativity will pull it over. So when you're feeling that, remember to acknowledge it and tell yourself, oh, I'm feeling these emotions. So what you have to do is pop the negativity bubble like Bubblina's Adventures, just pop the negativity bubble. And how you can do that is go find an activity to do so then you can take your mind off it. Or think of something happy that you're looking forward to. To sum it up, Number one, you have to recognize the feelings and pop that negative bubble, pop. And number two, you have to ask yourself two questions in the morning. And number three is talk to a trusted adult or someone you trust. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope you have a good back to school. Remember to turn on the notification bell because we're going to be coming back with more back to school 